Hey Orange Theory family and welcome to your next day of Orange Theory at home workouts. Today we're going to be putting your upper body through its paces and getting that back and those biceps to work. At the same time we're looking to get that heart rate up and into that orange zone and getting that orange burn. All you're going to need today is a mat or a towel, two lightweights, two medium weights and a mini band if you've got it. You can come join us at 7am, 1pm and 7pm for our live coach led workouts or you can go and join our youtube channel and check out all of our previous orange theory at home or workouts so who wants to go and get those endorphins yeah you've guessed it you do team welcome back to another dynamic warm-up it is a five minute block we're going to go through the exercises one at a time are you ready jess ready. all right the first are the hip rocks so you're going to plant one knee to the ground, shift your weight forward and backward, keeping a neutral spine through those hips, extending one leg out. After that, there is a squat to stand. So you're going to drop the elbows into the knee, lift through the hips, stretching out the hamstrings and return back into the squatted position. After that, you will go into a forward lunge into an overhead reach, stepping plant, plant one foot out and then reach overhead, bringing those arms back to center. After that, you have the cross-leg squat. So you're going to shift your weight to the left and to the right, making sure you lift one foot and toe off the ground, shifting that weight to the left and the right. After that, there is a jack twist. You're going to imagine you have one object in your hand on the toes. You want to twist to the left and the right. Small bounce in the hips, bring that heart rate up. Five-minute block. Let's get to work.
block is gonna be four minutes long. We're working the back and the biceps. You're gonna grab a mini band and two medium sized objects. Place the mini band around your wrist. Pick up your objects. Your first exercise is your hammer curl. Standing set position, some tension in the core. Lock the elbows into the rib cage. Drive your objects up to your collarbone and return slowly back down, palms facing in. Your second exercise is your hip hinge, low row. Same set position, that soft bend in the knee. Straight line from the ears down to the hips. Palms still facing in as you drive your elbows back and then slowly return back down. Your option for both of these exercises is to remove the mini band. Your goal is a minimum of three rounds, both exercises at eight reps. Let's get to work. Here we go. We got a nice eight minute upper body block. Angela, are you ready to get down with this block right now? Yes. 
All right, we are going to start with an around the world raise. Her two objects are in her hand. Her arms are slightly bent, palms facing forward. Going to bring those objects all the way up to the top. Option, limit that range of motion, turn it more into a lateral raise. Next one, going to bring those palms up facing her. We're going to simply push those weighted objects up to the ceiling. You don't need to push all the way up, but just make sure you have a good range of motion going, keeping that core drawn in or bring your belly button drawn into your spine. She's going to bend over at the hips where our nice hip hinge high row. Palms are facing the rear with her elbows out to the side. She's going to make sure she exhales as she brings those weighted objects up. And the very last one is an alternating shoulder press. Hands are lined up with the ears. Her palms are facing forward. She's going to drive up with one, bring it down slowly, alternate with the opposite arm. Remember, you must draw that belly button into your spine. Keep that core engaged and keep those heart rates elevated. Let's get to work, fam.
Alright team, this is your cardio block. It is 10 minutes long and designed to really jack up that heart rate. So the first exercise is going to be five reps each. You've got a swing lunge. Taking two objects, you're going to step forward, working the quadricep muscles and you'll step back. Make sure to keep that chest nice and tall. The next is going to be 10 reps. You've got frogger jumps. You're going to drop the glutes to the floor, keep your heels flat and power your body to the ceiling and give those glutes and quads some work. Next, we've got those skier swings. At 15 reps, you're gonna take your objects, thrust through the hips, lock your shoulders out, squeezing the glutes and the shoulders at the very top. Once that is completed, you're then gonna go 20 jumping jacks, giving dynamic power, opening the body up, using those arms and using the legs on those tippy toes. You're gonna repeat these exercises until time is called. Let's get that heart rate elevated and get to work.
Bring on the core, they said. Well, here it is. Five minutes of it. Working with three exercise. Coach, you ready? Let's go. Let's do what we do. Starting with our forearm plank to leg lift. This is gonna be 12 total. Making sure your elbows are stacked directly underneath your shoulder, core is engaged, and when you lift your leg up, it's just a couple inches, being sure to squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. Rolling it over to your leg raise. Very important that we press our lower back into the floor, keeping our legs straight. When we bring our drops, when we drop our legs, it's just a couple inches, and then we bring it right back up. That looks good, coach. If you need an option, just shorten up your lever, tap your heels to the floor, Squeeze the lower abs and lift up. We're gonna finish with our feet towards the ceiling there. It's our alternating toe reach, 12 total. Opposite arm, opposite toe. With that twisting motion, you'll notice that in your obliques. You should be feeling that on fire. What do you think, coach? Oh, yes. Okay, we think you'll like it too. Let's see what you have, Orange Family.
made it. Four minute flexibility block coming up next. We're gonna start calming that body down and relaxing those muscles. Didi, you ready to do this? All right, we're gonna start with a cobra stretch here. We're gonna lay flat on that mat so our bellies are down, hands by your chest. We're gonna drive up, bring that chest up, really feel that stretch on your abdominal muscles. Now, 20 seconds there, then we're going into the angled child's pose. Big toes are gonna to be together here. You're gonna walk those hands out and two steps over to one side first. Hold it 20 seconds, right back to that center position. We'll do 20 seconds on the other side. From there, Didi, we're gonna go into that um, tabletop position, right into a kneeling reverse forearm stretch. Your fingers are gonna be facing your knees. Gently sit your hips back to feel that stretch on your forearms. From there, we're gonna take a seat, turn all the way around, we have a hurdler stretch. So one leg is gonna be tucked in, other leg extended. Gently lean forward, feeling that stretch on your hamstring. And lastly, we're gonna get into a book opener. So you're gonna lay flat on your back here, Didi. Opposite, uh, your left knee's gonna to come towards your chest, your opposite hand's gonna pull it over to one side, other arm extended. Hold it there, 20 seconds each side. Let's relax.